Hey everyone, today I wanted to share another unboxing experience with you. A few weeks back, I was lucky enough to score a Fabiola of Hollywood doll. It's a limited edition, one of a kind collectible, designed by the artist Mike Buse. Now I got her with me today, and in this video, I'm going to open this package and show you the contents of the box. Fabiolas are being produced in very limited quantities, so I was lucky enough to score one because they're gone within seconds. A big shout out to Mike. I'm going to put a link both to his website as well as Instagram page down in the description. I've logged onto his website at the right time and scored one. She was gone within seconds. I was lucky enough to get exactly the Fabiola that I wanted to have. Now let's not waste any more time and open this box. This is a very comfy bed Fabiola has put inside. There is even a small note from Mike to me. It says, Hi Camia, thanks so much for your support. Hope you love your Fabiola. Enjoy me browse. And there's a little sachet with the stickered browse. Because the specialty of Fabiola is the fact that the doll comes without painted on brows. So you're able to decide which kind of brow you'd like best and use that sticker on her instead. Now she comes in this soft pink tissue paper with a little gold heart sticker. I'm going to slide her out of this so not to destroy the tissue paper. The doll comes with this little description here. It says, Sultry Sweater Girl and Gilded Gold, Series 1, Number 157. Daring little cocktail sweater for those who want the most glamorous of Hollywood styling. The off-the-shoulder neckline helps emphasize that bare look. Worn here with our sensational gold, high-waisted wowzer pants. Knowing the importance of prominent sweater girls in Hollywood, Cedric designed the sparkly stunner to rival all others on the market. Simple and sophisticated, but tight in the right places. The sweater was such a hit that campaigns around that time touted, Cedric's of Hollywood, we have more sweater girls than all the movie studios combined. This doll is one of a kind and comes fully dressed in a sexy green and gold off-the-shoulder cropped sweater created by Janice Cottero and skin-tight gold metallic high-waisted pants by Alida Ortiz. Fabiola also wears a mustard beret, large square hoop earrings, matte gold bracelets, a gold belt with a rhinestone buckle and an animal print clutch. Accessories by Mr. B. It's a lovely little detail, I really like it. Now on to the main event, the doll itself, or the doll herself. She comes in this classic fashion doll packaging. As you can see, she's really pretty, even inside the box. Just breathtaking. I love the cat eyes, I love the makeup, the red orangey lipstick, beautiful. And down the bottom it says Fabiola of Hollywood. Now on the back of the box there's even more about the doll. Fabiola of Hollywood was a fashion model and dancer who rose to major sex symbol status during the 50s and 60s. Oozing with sparkling glamour, Fabiola was known for shocking Hollywood society with a slinky over-the-top style and daring plunging necklines. The Boricua bombshell, born Fabiola Ines Casiano in Mayagüez, Puerto Rico, skyrocketed to fame when her sizzling rendition of the cha-cha dazzled the crowd at the 1955 Fiesta Festival in her hometown. 
The newly crowned Moniqua Bailarina Dancing Doll caught the eye of infamous designer and playboy Cedric of Hollywood, who immediately whisked her off to LA, Pan Am First Class, to make her the exclusive face and body of his brand. The newly monikered Fabiola of Hollywood modeled lavish gowns and lingerie by day and partied at Hollywood's most glamorous clubs by night. Fabiola suddenly had it all. Man wanted her, and woman, and some man wanted to be her. Her wicked wit made her a mainstay on the international party circuit. She was last seen on a yacht off the coast of Monte Carlo sometime in the 70s, before mysteriously disappearing from the public eye forever. Was this self-imposed exile? Greta Garbo comes to mind. No one knows, since her more recent sightings could never be confirmed. Fabiola's Archivist Fabiola, forever fashionable, forever fabulosa. Fabiola as fabulosa. I really love how much effort and detail Mike has put into this doll. I love how she's both a celebration of his Puerto Rican roots, as well as celebration of the lavish 50s and 60s Hollywood style. Now let's open her up and take a closer look. You know, a few years back I had a time where I was going through a lot of recipe books and I wanted to look for recipes with plantain. So I had actually found a Puerto Rican recipe book and I started to make some Puerto Rican dishes. It was also a desire of mine to visit Puerto Rico. There was this um, dish that was made with deep fried plantain that is mashed. And um, you have to add pork, I think. Another dish that I really liked was a dessert. I think it was called quesito with cream cheese and jam. And I think it's actually made with proper cheese. And now that we're approaching Christmas, there's also this drink, this Christmas drink. It's called Coquito with um, coconut and rum. And I really like that one as well. So those are the few dishes that I had actually um, memorized after going through that recipe book. Now let's take a closer look at the doll out of the box. These are all the things that she comes with. She has this beautiful, really gorgeous, stunning, these gold trousers. I really love these high-waisted jeans she wears. You see her gold shoes and the sparkly trousers, her bracelet, her manicure, her sweater as well as a face and a little purse and the earrings love these earrings she also comes with a stand it's very beautifully presented i really love how you can see how much care and passion and effort has been put into the creation of this store as well as how much love it is poured into making the store you can really see it it's really it's really remarkable you know the funny thing is that um, I'm from Germany and this store is being produced in Spain but um, she's of course being sent to Mike over to the States. And after he um, was able to put the finishing touches on her, she's getting shipped back to Europe. Um, that's quite hilarious. Now I was able to free her. What I love most about her looking at her is the fact that her face has a lot of depth to it. You know, there's a lot of 
dimension to her face. And that's something that you don't see very often in new dolls. And she's being um, modeled after classic vintage dolls. So you can really see that there has been a lot of care and effort put into recreating that kind of face mold. That's very classic vintage. You know, even looking at her hands, they even molded on the ridges that you have on your knuckles and your fingers, which is just a stunning detail. I hope you can actually catch that on camera. The beret is pinned at the back of her head. You can, I think, are able to detach the pin. Yes. And she's got a headband around her hair to keep the hair in place so, so that when you put the beret on it um, looks as pretty as it should. I love how detailed every piece of this garment is. Love this sweater. I think it's definitely the highlight of the outfit that she's wearing. Love the belt buckle. I really love the bracelet she's wearing here. Along with the stunning pieces of clothing that she wears, she also dons a pair of high-heeled shoes that I really like. What I really like about Fabiola is the fact that she is a vintage doll that is styled and modeled after the Latina. And um, well, Fabiola is from Puerto Rico and I'm from the Middle East, I'm from Iran. Yet um, she still shares the same visual cues and traits that um, uh, I remember from my own mother as well as um, my aunt and um, that's something that I really appreciate because um, it's sort of like representation for me as well as it is for Mike of course and um, that's why I really enjoy this store even more than I would uh, normal classic vintage store. As far as um, her articulation goes, she can turn her head from left to right, side to side. She can um, turn her arm in a circular motion and she can turn her legs in a circular motion as well. But I'm of course not going to do that with her pants on. Her hair is very soft. I really love the texture and feel of it and she's very well rooted as well you can see no matter what I do you can barely see the scalp so now on to her accessories she comes with this pair of beautiful metallic gold earrings that are now going to stick into the doll's ear her ear holes are very delicate looking I don't want to damage these earrings there is no give when I'm going to push them. I think I need to properly pierce the ears before I'm able to put the earrings inside or else the metal stick of the earring is not able to go through her ear and is going to bend. And that's something that I don't want. This is the beautiful leopard print purse that she comes with. That is made out of this fur material. And again, I love the gold belt around it. Looks like it has the same buckle. and shares the same traits as the belt that's wrapped around Fabiola's waist. So to wrap this up, she's a stunning beauty. As I said, I've linked Mike's website as well as Instagram page down in the description. If you're able to get your own Fabiola of Hollywood, you're going to be very much impressed by her. 
I think I am. And um, I'm really lucky to have gotten one of her. Now that's basically all I have to say about this doll. She's a stunning, breathtaking work of art. I'm really happy to have gotten one of her. If you're able to ever get a chance to get your hands on one, do that. You can find me on Instagram at don't underscore call me doll, where I'm going to post more pictures of this beauty, as well as other doll related content. Let me know what you think about this doll. Did you like her? I would very much appreciate a like or a subscribe. Sound off in the comments below and I might catch you in the next video. So all that Fabiola and I have left to say is hasta luego.